Okay, I want to say hi again. Uh, I'm starting a new mini series, okay, a new mini series on the side where I'm going to be answering random questions. Um, also, uh, I want to uh, just mention, okay, soon hopefully I'll be taking part in another one of these interviews, okay, just interviews uh, upon my life and philosophy and martial arts and whatever, okay. Um, nicely done, uh, but it's going to be an inter interview uh, uh, with my uh, one of my good friends, Kate Demsley, who's a renowned martial artist, uh, martial arts instructor, a writer. Um, he's done a lot of good things in his life. I'll say that, and uh, I've known him for a long time. And um, anyway, that's that's something else I'm going to be doing. Okay, but yeah, I'm starting a new series here on the side as well as my other stuff. Uh, like my art and animation and all that stuff I'm working on. But I've also got a new series starting here, a mini-series on the side, uh, where I'm going to be answering random questions, basically, um, just for fun and just something on the side. And um, I want to just mention, okay, if, if anybody has any questions that you'd like to ask me too, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, just out of curiosity... Uh, if I feel comfortable answering them, obviously, and um, you know, I'll I'll answer in video form, uh, in video, you know, and and I'll, and I'll actually answer you directly. Um, you know, when you ask someone a question, or when you ask a question, put forth out from your mind to the world, what you're really doing is asking yourself something. It's like it's that same thing as you know, even like. Bruce Lee even said before, I mean, all knowledge is ultimately self-knowledge. And no, I was never a big fan of Bruce Lee himself. I think he was a great martial artist. I'm just bringing up a quote that he once said, you know, um, you know, yeah, uh, you know, it, all knowledge is ultimately self-knowledge. And that's true. It's what you know, what you think, your mind is your world. And is basically you trying to work out things for yourself. <clears throat> And the, and the only understand the only understanding you'll ever have you'll ever know is is your own understanding and the your own way of thinking and perceiving things and and all of that okay <clears throat> anyway um let's get on with this okay i don't want to i want to make these videos very very short and we're going to have some fun doing these on the side here and there so uh, what i'm going to be doing for these ran random questions is um <clears throat> i'm just uh <coughs> going online um, to specific websites, specific websites, and just answering the questions like, as though the these questions are being asked to me. I'm just imagining. Okay, so you got these random question generators and things like that you can find online. And there's one here called ConversationStartersWorld.com. Okay conversationstartersworld.com I've gone to this particular one for today and it has a lot of things on there it seems like one of the better ones and um, I've gone to one of the topics which you can choose from here and it's uh, philosophical questions and that's the kind of thing I like you know deep stuff uh, I find a lot of stuff that's out there in terms of information questions and all of that that's written is always coming from like a human, uh, you know, a person. Obviously, it's of, of course coming from a human mind. But, you know, when somebody asks a question, even like this here, philosophical questions, for example, a lot of this stuff is coming from a human mind. Someone's put this together, obviously. And um, we're human. There's nothing wrong with the human. There's nothing wrong with the human and nature and reality and truth, which I'm trying to say, which we're always, you know, should be trying to seek. Should be just trying to connect and be part of. You know, we're part of that. We are the reality, but the truth. Uh, yeah, but the thing is that yeah, is like you get a lot of conditioned, you know, conditioned, manufactured human beings who are results. You know, who are products of a society in which they've grown up in in a certain time period in this world. So they're gonna they're gonna ask questions on those sort of topics or though or any type of topic that you know from their own point of view and they're going to ask the questions that fr from a th way of thinking that they're thinking within that time generation that place and all the rest of it you ask someone a question 
from another country and they're going to answer it totally differently and it's nothing to do with it's not only to do with sorry um the individual being a different person and personality you've got sadly a lot of people who are just to a large part if not totally um influenced so much that they've become like their mind has become a product of the society in which they've grown up in their condition conditioning their what do you call it, environmental surrounding um, conditioning what they've grown up in could be the upbringing at home is what someone's been conditioned to how their mind's been you know conditioned to think and even though people think they uh, believe that they're thinking as um their own their uh, with their own mind a lot of the time they're not you know but let's let's uh, do this first for now. Let's go over this this first run on this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer some questions here, right? So what I like about this uh, website here, it says uh, conversationstartersworld.com. Um, okay, conversationstartersworld.com. Um, not only do you have these different topics you can choose, like I've chosen here, um, uh, philosophical questions, but also it's got here. It says here uh, it covers different ranges of different mid subtopics as such like human nature and the human condition what the fuck's that excuse my language in my opinion human nature and the human condition human nature okay fair enough we're part of nature and then we're also a part and we are human beings so we have a human nature but what is the human condition motherfucker i was not excuse me no, i'm not something and all of a sudden i've got a condition put upon me that i'm a human it's a human condition what are you talking about that doesn't make sense you know what i mean like all this bullshit talk about the human condition i don't even is that my misinterpretation or or their misinterpretation of reality human nature yes and human is we are humans we don't have a thing called a human condition like we're just something else Okay, the unit. The next one is the universe, the universe and reality. Then we've got the human mind. So all this is stuff's good. Uh, consciousness and intelligence, very good stuff. Ethics and morality. Okay, society and government. They can go and fuck themselves, but you know it's there. You know, I mean, no, I'm just saying, society is good. You know, civilization is good, but you know what I mean. Uh, science and technology okay so these are some real good topics and they've got information about this here before you can actually go on them and what i've just noticed here is we've got a massive list of questions just actually written down here a bit below the thing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to answer two because this video is getting pretty long now already for, for what i want to do here i want to i want to make these pretty short around five minutes at, at least at least at max so what I'm going to do is uh, we can choose from the subtopics here. But first, for this first video, I'm just going to pick randomly, okay? Okay, no, it says here, it says here, philosophical questions about human nature and the human condition. Okay, so we're going to go through them then. We'll do that. Two questions first. I don't know what they are. I have not seen these yet. Plus, I've got other websites to look at. So I'm going to read these first two questions. Okay, let's do this, and I'm going to answer them the best I can, from my honest opinion. Okay, so question number one, and uh, don't forget you can answer these questions yourself too. If you if you would like to type an answer in the comments below, I would love to see your answers. You could type a uh, you know an answer if you like, or make a video yourself, which I'll watch and comment on. But uh, it says here, okay, um, yeah. So philosophical questions about human nature and the human condition. Okay, the first question. You ready? Here we go. Okay, this question here. What harsh truths do you prefer to ignore? What harsh truths do you prefer to ignore? Well, for me, I like to get deep. You know me and I, I mean, can't help but get deep sometimes. The, the problem here is harsh. Harsh. That's the word. What harsh truths do you prefer to ignore? Now, harsh from whose position, whose perspective? And what does that mean, harsh? Hard truths. Hard to accept, um, things like that. But then you have to accept the truth. Um, hard to, but that's what they're talking about. Okay, so hard truths to accept by all people or by me, I guess. Okay, what truths then do I find hard, I guess? And I prefer to ignore them. I'll put it that way. 
So ask yourself the question, Rich. <laughs> well, just answer the fucking question. It's like, yeah, so basically, okay, so what harsh truths do I prefer to ignore? Okay, the first one, of course, death, you know, don't like to talk about it, but obviously one day we're all going to get old and we're going to die. So anything re anything revolving around old age, old age and death. Um, another one um, also um, is, because I, I like to avoid that, you know, because obviously, I just, you know, life, you want to focus on life. But, um, you know, it keeps cropping up in everybody's mind and, you know, Reminding people, but I was going to say, um, you know, um, another uh, thing that I think I do choose to ignore, and it's kind of um, bad, it is bad, is the fact that some of what we eat is shit. Excuse my language, food. Okay, so that's something that uh, I do, you know. Um, so harsh truths that I prefer to ignore, you know, um, that I'm actually being fed whatever the society, any society, gives me. So they could be poisoning me in some ways. You've got your genetically modified food, whatever the fuck, but things... In, I'm not the most healthy eater. And that's another, that's another thing, too. It's not, not only are we dealing with the food that is actually given to us, the products that we eat, consume, eat and drink, those things, it's something that I don't really think about, but it's like, I will, I will do it. And I choose, like, and so even for my own choice, like I'll go to a McDonald's and buy burgers. I like McDonald's. I fucking love Big Macs. Excuse me, I can't. I, but I rarely have them. But you know, nobody's perfect. You say, but it's like this is an ignorance. It's just a kind of ignorance. Like everybody, nobody's perfect. But these are things that I would choose to ignore. Like certain foods, I know are not really great for me. Good for my health. I don't eat the most unhealthy diet i'm probably much more healthy in, in some people but still knowing that you know it's a bad thing here's another thing here's another thing that i do uh ignore sleep like you know i stay awake very late sometimes you know doing whatever working on stuff that i don't want to be doing or um or staying up late doing stuff doing stuff that i do want to be doing like my passion my art and stuff like that but I'll, you know, I'll spend too long and um, I know that it's bad to like, what do you call it, um, de deprive yourself of getting enough sleep and things like that. That's no good. You know what I mean? Um, things like that. Um, other things I, I really can't think right now. Um, I guess some things is not like a choice to a, ch a choice of being of ignoring things or not some things are, it, although it is some of it's just the rate it's the way you recognize things the way you see things like i might get a bit irritable about the way people i perceive people to be and i'm ignorant to the fact in certain moments that they may not have actually been directly being negative towards me but I'll like get irritable. I'll be like, I'll be thinking, what the fuck's wrong with that guy? I might even be verbal about it, and I'll be like walking down the road talking about it for a few minutes to on my phone, like to on the video, like to my friend or something. Like, what that fucking guy there? Look at that ignorant prick! I'll be turning the camera and I'll be getting very verbal, you know, and I may even like turn around and say something. I mean, one of these days someone's going to probably punch me in the face if I get into an argument. But it's like sometimes that can be a bit too. I'm a bit too jumpy. I feel. But for the most part, I know you, know you can tell when people have taken the piss, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think those are some things that I uh, choose, I prefer to, okay, prefer to ignore, not just usually ignore, but prefer to ignore, you know, um, right, the, oh, the question was actually, what do I prefer to ignore? So prefer to ignore the fact that we're going to die one day, we're going to grow old, because I don't want to think about it, you know? Um, but, you know, to pre but if you prefer to ignore truth, whether it be harsh or not harsh, from your perspective, you've got to understand what that harsh means. But truth should never be ignored, it should be seen, acknowledged. Once the truth is known, you can't lie to yourself. Truth's about yourself, truth's about... The truth about whatever going on in the universe, I don't know, far across the galaxies. But truth in terms of what me and rea my immediate reality and around me, that should be taken into account you know you have to be sensible you know 
safety and all, all you do and wherever you go, whatever you do, you know, things like that. But I don't ignore truth usually. I be true, but the truth of my life is me in nature, and the truth of everything is ultimately true nature and logic. The truth, when you're talking about society, that's not a true thing. Like modern damn said society, people controlling people with money. Yeah, it's a system that works, obviously, because if, if there weren't money and if there weren't jobs, then obviously people wouldn't be building buildings, there wouldn't be people working, and people would just stay at home. You know, you need doctors, you need bus drivers, you need farmers, we need all that stuff. But I'm just saying, like, um, you know, the truth of it all is... Uh, no matter all, all that's going on in the world, the violence or the the productive stuff or the negative stuff, whatever's going on, we are just animals, really, human beings. We're just flesh, bone, blood, hair, like animals, right? Like fur, we've got clothes on us, yes, but we breathe air, we eat, we drink, we grow old, we die. We, we're we here while we're here, and it's how we are living and how what we're doing with our lives. It's not really about forms and documents and no matter how smart we are as animals uh, you know human beings uh, no matter how smart and intelligent we are we make all this technology and we build skyscrapers and cities and internets and you know internet and you know high speed trains and underground whatever we're doing that's beside the point the reality is Beyond it all, languages we make up, we make languages, we make borders, we made, make cultural habits and traditions and national anthems, we make flags with certain designs on, we draw that, we make the piece of imagery. And we talking, we're, now you're talking about reality, truth, truth is reality. A lot of stuff that we do, that we create, is bullshit. It's just stuff to keep our mind in a certain frame of mind. Okay, you're on this team or you're on that team. You know what I mean? You're part of this, you know. You know, this is what nationality you are on this planet Earth, this globe, this globe ball in space, whatever it is. And you say, this is where you are. This is, here's your passport. Here's your ID. Um, jump through the ring of fire when we say... Or, and you have to do this and do that, or comply with this or that until the day you die and, and fuck you. You know, excuse my language, that's what they're trying to tell you. It's like you're a slave to society, a robot. And it's like um, the same way as like, okay, you're on this basketball team and the manager's telling you what to do. Duh, 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 duh. If you don't like it, get the fuck off the team. And this is exactly what it is. And you're living like in nature, it's a different kind of survival. Like if you was living in survival in the nature, you'd have you have the wild animals to deal with, like wolves or whatever, you'd have to live in the you know, build up a tent out in nature and survive. I've you know, they get these people living out in Alaska or wherever, I've seen these documentaries and stuff. It's the same thing in the modern cities. It's like you've got all this control on you. People are not people are just avoiding the thing is this they're beaten down so much they see a lot of harsh truths. They're confronted with harsh, harsh truths in the modern society all around them. They're beaten to apps. They've got so much weakness in them, basically. They see a lot of harshness. And they choose to prefer it and just go along with it. And say, right, the truth's the truth, but, you know, fuck that. Uh, I'm just going to go with the easy. I'm just going to follow what my slave master tells me to jump through a ring of fire, whoever's running the country telling you. And this is what happens. And people just live like a goddamn robot, you know. So, yeah, this is what I see. But anyway, a lot of thoughts there. I should be just answering these simply. Let me just uh, answer this next question. Next question is... The next question, okay. The next question, we're having two questions for this video. Is free will real or just an illusion? Um, Very, very deep question. It can be simply answered as... It, of course, it's real, you know. And what is an illusion? Even an illusion is just... We, we, I mean, free will or illusion, they are both images in your mind. They're thoughts. So your mind is a thing that's happening. But the same way as you're growing new layers of skin every day and your your old skin is dying and the new skin's coming, it's always, you're always like a new you every second so much. So, so the old you is like... You talk about your past... But you, the old you doesn't exist anymore. It's like you're here now. So the mind and all the energy and the atoms, the cells, straight down to a scientific quantum 
fucking level with you. Excuse my language. It's the same. Should be the same thing, right? But nothing's actually lost. They say the information transforms into something else. The the knowledge, the information, the energy of the universe is just forming into different things and changing. It's the way of change. And you get onto deep stuff like uh, yin and yang, as I said, a flow of that, where and things like the book of changes and stuff like that. Well, that's what it's about. And the elements, the five elements, deep things like that. But yeah, I mean, is free will, though, okay, with the mind, the idea at least, is free will real or just an illusion? Um, free, true free will is real, is real. Free will, but, you know, yeah, but the thing is, like, in the modern society, when you're being controlled, people think they've got certain levels of free will, but they don't, because their, thought, their thoughts have been so manufactured and controlled or rather they've been so beaten down, they've just become ignorant. God knows how it happens, I don't know. I mean, and they don't know, you know, and they just fall to laziness, kind of based off the previous question we just had. So they end up following illusion out of habit, and they don't know what's real or not anymore. So they still have a free will, even even when they're following illusion. But they don't know it's an illusion. They can't tell the real from the fake. Now we're going into the realms of the matrix and things like that. And it's not about taking a goddamn fucking pill or some choice that someone gives you either. This is crap. This is reality, right? People don't know what they're doing. But when you talk about free will, let's say if there wasn't a modern society, there's people controlling people. Let's say you were living in the jungles or you were just living out in nature, <laughs> like the old cavemen or whatever. Free will then is do you can that that kind of person have free will? Well, you say nature, and you got that. You're living next door to volcanoes, or up in the mountains where the snow blizzards are hitting. You know, then you your thoughts are kind of controlled. On you are controlled. You you can't make choices. You you know you have to live <clears throat> in accordance with that. So again, the problem is the question. Like a lot of these. So the problem is the question. That's the confusion is in the question. So sometimes that's a good thing, but in the negative side. The confusion is the question itself. You can't be separate from nature and reality. You are as much it as it is you as long as you live, as long as that's there in your existence. If all that outside truth weren't here, where would you be? Flying in space? Where would, you know what I mean? That reality is there because you exist, and you exist because that reality is there. It's the same thing. So, you know, free will, how to survive in the desert, how to survive in the rainforest, there's got to be a rainforest for you to be able to talk about how to survive in it. There's got to be a you to talk about how you would survive in a rainforest. You know what I'm trying to say? So, so you've always got a mind working off of information. But what are you? You're a vehicle you're physically in the body, in the physical side, the mind and the body. With all these senses, the five senses too, they're reacting off of that. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, how can you talk about an object where light's bouncing off of it if that object doesn't exist? You know what I'm saying? It's got to, it, a free will, as though that light didn't exist. It's like, you still want to talk about it receiving light. So, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm going deep here, but free will does exist. But free will, yeah, it's not an illusion because nothing else is, a illusion, is an illusion. Free will is always connected, is always uh, how you interpret, how you receive and then and react simultaneously. It should be. You know, the mind, human people are dumb and slow. No, the, um, is the connection, the exchange, what's the word, with uh, the reality around it? Yeah. So you've got two sides, or you've got like the yin and yang, how, how two yin or yang to either side, is one going to talk about, oh, is reality an illusion, an illusion, or, you know, is free will an illusion? And what is free will? Will is like a choice made by you to make a, an action based on your receiving of something. You've had to have some information from somewhere or experience to actually have a mind to think about will and the will to choose to do something. Where do those choices come from? Where do thoughts come from? That's the actual question there. Is it by, you know what I'm saying? Is it in, could someone, was a, ba a baby's born and it only knows what it <clears throat> knows at first. What does it know? Is what I'm trying to say. And from both while it's in its mother's tummy, mother's womb, it still is receiving information. Will comes from information. 
Where does information come from? We'll stop that one there. <laughs> well, we learn and we get experience. Thanks for watching this one. It's a very long one, this one, the first video. We'll make each one short, the other following videos. Thanks for watching.